Harry yells, William, come back to the fight. As he changes course. Put the mice and rat problems in the past. Good day, pals. Hello. And thank you for tuning in to British Royal News, where we will be bringing you the latest breaking news about the royal couple most infamous for their hypocrisy, Harry and Meghan Markle. Prince William reportedly told his friends not to fuel the debate by reacting furiously to any accusations made in Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary series, and he swore to never watch the show himself. It has been said that the Prince of Wales is less interested in tit-for-tat confrontation with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and more interested in looking to the future and getting on with the job. No Christmas gifts will be exchanged between the adults but both sets of parents will still send gifts to their respective children. Friend of Prince William tells Sunday Times, he insists he would never watch it and I know he absolutely won't. This was confirmed by another reliable source. Even while the royal family is said to be keeping up with the news, another acquaintance said the king and queen would not be tuning in to the six-part series. Harry hoped that his brother and their father, King Charles, would watch the docuseries to better understand what he and Meghan have been through. The insiders of the royal family have denied categorically Meghan's claims that she was unprepared for her new role. In season one, Meghan Markle admitted that she had to Google the national anthem and that she had to be taught how to curtsy. She made a complete fool of herself in front of her spouse, proving her inability to do so. A source close to the royal family told the Sunday Times that six months before Harry and Meghan's wedding, Harry's former private secretary Ed Lane Fox sent Meghan a 30-point dossier on her future career, along with a list of professionals who may help her. Also questioned is the story that Meghan's estranged half-sister Samantha Markle told her she couldn't invite her niece Ashley Hale to the wedding. According to the source, that simply did not take place. We made no recommendations on who should or should NT be invited to her wedding from her immediate family or friends. I remember Meghan saying that she had a niece she would have liked to bring if the circumstances were different, but she didn't want to ask her because doing so would have brought unwanted attention to herself. A major source of tension between Prince William and the docuseries was Harry's claim that William married Kate because she fits the template rather than out of love. Quote from Harry in the documentary. There's a good chance that many people in your family, especially the men, may feel pressured to settle down with someone who fits the stereotype rather than the person you were truly meant to be with. What happens when you let your feelings guide your decisions instead of your head? And I know that my mom always followed her gut instincts. In addition, I am also my mother's son. Episode 2 included Megan remembering her awkward first meeting with William and Kate and the second volume's trailer shows Harry seemingly snubbing his brother once again by failing to include the Prince and Princess of Wales in any of the many wedding images that flashed up on the screen. More than half of British viewers of the show think the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should be stripped of their titles because of the couple's attacks on British institutions while talking about their experiences with racism and other issues. Sussex's interview will only add fuel to the flames, feeding the never-ending frenzy the narrative they want to construct, and the tedious media circus that follows. The thing is, once this Netflix series concludes, we can draw a final line under all the turmoil that has surrounded Megxit. By that point, there will be no more juice to extract. There is only Harry's three-volume memoir to read. It remains to be seen if it can attract as much attention as the Netflix show. I doubt there will be much demand for two more book drops after the initial one, but only time will tell. After Netflix, the true question for them is you've just revealed everything to the general public, now what? Outside of your typical gripes about the press and royal life, what do you have to contribute that anyone would find interesting? For the simple reason that by February, the influence of the book and Netflix will have faded, leaving them to prove to the public that they are more than just talking heads. With William and Kate, the future of the monarchy is bright. Both appear grounded and aware of the responsibilities that come with their royal status. You can tell these two value family and professional life equally, as they don't seem to be interested in advancing their careers or gaining attention. In contrast, it would be great if Kate were to come forward and reveal her true feelings about Meghan.
William is an independent adult with responsibilities, while Harry is a child with few life experiences to his name. That has to be trying for William. He was older and more knowledgeable about his mother's estate than his brother, yet he was frequently rebuffed by his siblings' claims to it. Furthermore, Harry's ball and chain repeatedly assault his wife, despite the fact that she was close to Harry and had much worse treatment in the outset of her career. William is too refined to ever aspire to such mediocrity. The following is a comment made by a fan of the royal family. The vicious circle of envy and hatred directed at William and Kate by hypocrites is unbearable. His terrible mother must be shaking in her grave at the thought of her son destroying his brother's birthright and making fun of his marriage to his beautiful, loving wife out of pure jealousy. People adore and appreciate them in a way that they never will. When the rumored dispute between Harry and Meghan is alleged to have devastated the royal family, one may wonder why William would choose to ignore it. Indeed, he is aware that Harry and Meghan have dug themselves a deep hole from which they will eventually be unable to escape. Eventually, if not immediately, Harry and Meghan will be completely broke. They have spent considerably more than they earn and have no plans to complete the multi-year Netflix deal or the book deal. So, I won't be making too much from either of those just now. In the eyes of most, their mortgage payment is enough to bring tears to their eyes. A four to six bedroom home would have been more practical, but they expected to be swamped with offers, so they only acquired a smaller place. Wrong. One last point about Harry we should consider. If he believes the royal family should follow their hearts and marry the people they are destined to be with, then why does he not see Charles and Camilla as a perfect love match and a love match, respectively? Wouldn't he be happy that Charles escaped the same fate as his father? If the king was pressured to marry Diana because she fit the mold? With the one he truly loves? Does he believe that Prince Philip settled for Queen Elizabeth because he didn't truly love her? Apparently, none of his female cousins are much adored by their husbands either. Princess Eugenia, you're still on his side, right? Katharina has been severely mistreated by Harry. She's the target of some quite harsh comments from both him and his wife. For as long as we know, Harry has had a close relationship with his sister-in-law. Is he picking on her because he's jealous of her, or is he trying to get back at William for some reason? Never once have I seen Catherine make a blunder. She put forth a lot of effort, and people appreciate her efforts. Do you agree that William and the royal family acted appropriately by ignoring Harry and Meghan's horrible attack? Leave your feedback in the comments. Please let us know how this video was able to assist you. In case you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, spread the word, and sign up for updates. This newsletter has been aired. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.